He scared me. I'm sorry. I got a duck to go through this one. <laughs> Shoot, I'm gonna fall through the floor, Becky. Hello! Hello! Where are we going? We're going to San Juan Batista. It's a little historic town that we can check out. We're gonna go check out the old mission. If you look at the tiles on the floor, you can see animal prints from when they're outside drawing. We're gonna try to see how many different animal tracks we can find. What are you excited most about, Becky? Oh, just to look at it, it's all the history and the museum. I think my favorite part's gonna be the museum because the museum has got a lot of cool stuff. The San Juan Batista Mission was the 15th of the missions and was founded by Father Les Swin on June 24, 1797. It was the only mission church with three aisles making it the largest out of all of the missions. There were 21 missions in all lasting from 1769 until about 1833. The mission's goal was to convert the Native Americans to Christianity. Once they were converted to Christianity, the missionaries would move on to new locations and the existing missions served as churches. In 1821, Mexico won its independence from Spain and in 1833, the Mexican government passed a law that ended the missions. Later, the missions were used as U.S. military bases in the 1846 war with Mexico. In 1850, California officially became a state, and in 1865, Abraham Lincoln granted the church ownership of some of the missions. Okay. Well, Where are you at, fool? I think he's in the tree. Hi. I don't see him. Do you see him? I don't see him. No. He scared me. I'm sorry. Oh. Fool. Show yourself. Show yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you're silly. What are you doing, Becky? Trying to take a picture. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm gonna fall through the floor, Becky. <laughs> wow, look at these books. Jeez. Wow, look at that. That's the biggest book I ever did see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is where they would eat. Did you see all the money is down there? What's this say right here? Mrs. San Juan is not supported by the state of California. We have to depend on our visitors to help maintain the precious historical buildings and museums. We ask for your kindly offering. All right, throw a dollar in there. Go. Books written by F.R. Tapas prior to 1825. That's an old book, I tell you what. Whoa, that's a big pot. I think this is how you feed an army. Pasta. No, you don't make pasta in here. Like stews and stuff. What do you think of this room? It's big. It's your favorite? No. No? Oh well, yeah, I'm looking at that.
Holy moly. Insane. Wow. Oh, you know what this is? It's a sundial. You set it up on, I think, north-south axis, and then the sun hits it. The shadow tells you what time of day it is. One, two, three. It's like almost four o'clock. Does you wonder how I know that? Because there's a clock right there. A Pozo mission well. 1800. Wow, look at this thing. Oh, well. It looks like they filled the well in. But this is where they would get all their water from. Yeah. What are you... What in the world? It smells good. I wanted to smell the roses. I'm stopping and smelling them. Mission Cemetery. Buried in the sacred grounds and unmarked graves are about 4,300 Mission Indian, Spanish, and Pioneer settlers. El Camino Real. The King's Highway. The above marker shows the direction of the road that connected the 21 missions. You go north to Mission Santa Clara or go south to headquarters at Mission San Carlos. Look at this. State Gem, 1985. How'd you enjoy the mission? I liked it. There's so much to see. It was so big and so pretty. What was your favorite part? Um, the church. I think my favorite part was the church too. I liked the garden too. The garden was pretty cool. Yeah. But the church was pretty crazy because it's yeah, it was. so big and beautiful. <laughs> like Wolfa. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, that's it for this one. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you. See you.